What I thought I'd uh, explain first of all is the natural processes and uh, how they act on a range of different time scales uh, from thousands of years to hundreds of thousands of years through to seasons. Um, so probably a great example of how this, these interactions actually occur is if we look at uh, the Vostok ice core. Now the Vostok ice core is uh, um, where scientists have gone to the, uh, the Antarctic and they have drilled uh, a core um, down to almost two kilometers and they've extracted the ice from that core. Within that ice is uh, little bubbles of air which uh, you can imagine uh, are actually then sort of horizontally aligned so we can have a, a sense of when that uh, sample of the atmosphere actually occurred. They extract the air from those bubbles and they can measure the greenhouse gases in, in, in those bubbles of air. So what we do see is we see these large fluctuations occur over those 800,000 years. But when we get to the, the, the present day, we see a very clear human-induced signal. So we see a very rapid accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. far greater than has occurred in the last 800,000 years uh, and our, the rate of accumulation is far more rapid than any time in, in that observational record. So we, we see then that even within the historical record we see that there is natural variability that's occurring and this trend uh, that we're starting to see from, from the greenhouse gas concentrations. We see things like um, years that are dry and years that are wet, and those are associated with both El Niños and La Nina. So this is the temperatures in the Pacific Ocean, and as those temperatures and those patterns of sea surface temperature change, that actually um, changes the patterns of rainfall across the entire planet. So we have these seasonal variations that are natural, and then we have this pervasive trend that's actually occurring in, in the temperatures um, because of the accumulation of greenhouse gases. And as those temperatures in the atmosphere um, change because of the greenhouse gases, they interact with the natural variability that's occurring and they're altering that natural variability.